Hey guys, and welcome to my patch notes review for Draco Lit Up. Yes, that's it. Just Draco Lit Up. <laughs> so first off is the weekly updates. So, it is Chaos Factor is doubled. Get two Chaos Chests for every point of Chaos Factor you have when you log in each day. So, since I have 7 Chaos Factor, I will be logging in with 14 Chaos Chests every day. It's pretty cool. Next up is Wings are on sale, save 50% off credit prices. So, you press N, go to Vault. They nicely have them on top, which is pretty cool in my opinion. And they're worth around 10 bucks now instead of 20 uh, remember that wings are tradable, so this means that they will be also less flux on the marketplace because people are going to spend 10 bucks to get, you know, like 50k flux. Not the brightest idea, but people do it for some reason all the time. So this will definitely drive down the prices in the market at least a tiny bit, maybe a couple thousand. Uh, next up is this week's top cash chest loot is the shadowy sarcophagus, so you can see that in the middle screen. Or you could look at it right here. So I don't know why I've never actually shown off the mounts in these patch notes videos whenever they're in the chaos chest rotation. I probably should. So here you go. This is what it looks like on the Tomb Razor because that's the class that I had it on. Uh, so there you go. Next up is misc updates and fixes. So added flux collected stat to leaderboard uh, and the flux collected stat has been reset. So if you go slash stats, flux collected is now reset. I've only collected 2000 because it was reset today. So in the past like couple hours, besides doing all my other stuff, I collected 2k flux, so not much. But uh, it was added to the leaderboard and let me tell you why people are at this spot. So. Yes, three or four hundred million is impossible to make in just a few hours. That is because there's a bug right now to where, well, I guess it's going to stay here forever <laughs> because that's the coding of Tryon. Um, if you, do, if these people haven't logged in yet, so Code for T, he has not logged in yet. So he's made four hundred mil in the past two months. Um, which is pretty good, by the way. That's a pretty good amount <laughs> to make in two months from collecting gear. But, um... So he has 400 mil in the past two months. As soon as he logs in, he's going to have zero. Uh, same thing with everybody else. These guys have not logged in yet. This was confirmed by other clubmates of mine. Uh, someone in my club, or someone in Lazaria named John, he had about a billion flux. He had 700 mil uh, until he logged on. Then he was reset to zero. So it's definitely just the coding of the game. Once these people log in, it'll reset their stats. They're not doing it, I guess, server side without the account being logged in. So if you see all this... Uh, it's gonna be like that for a while. Um, if someone, like, if Code for Teen ever logs in, he's probably gonna be number one for the next, you know, month or two. <laughs> uh, but obviously he's gonna log in. So anyone that AFKs, this stat leaderboard is useless. It doesn't mean anything. It's impossible to get to the top right now because it takes months to get this much. Even if you flip 24-7 every single day, it's still gonna take a month to get up to this stat, um... So yeah, not a not a good way to introduce a new leaderboard. <laughs> At least it's not tied to contest because that would be really messed up. Also, they did fix the marketplace bug to where if you collected uh, flux from the marketplace, it would add to the stat. The reason why that's not a good way to do it is because people were say you bought a uh, patron pass for 300k and you sold it for 200k, even though you lost a hundred thousand from that flip. Um, it still counted 200k towards your stat. So yes, it's going to be basically, it's purely flux collected, like from deconstructors, that's it. Nothing else, you can't trade for it, you can't make mega flux tanks for it, you can't get it from the marketplace. All it comes from is from deconstructing gear, which kind of sucks because that just means the people that farm the most are going to get it, not the people that flip the market and actually make the most <laughs> flux. But it was abusable, like I explained last week when I did it on PTS uh, to test it out for you guys. It was not working, so that uh, that's it for the Flux leaderboard. I hope I explained everything to the fullest detail. Again, this is bugged. As soon as they log in, they're going to be reset to zero. And then the only way to get Flux earned towards this leaderboard is through deconstructing items. So, you know, 200 per 5-star shadow whatever penta <laughs> um so it's gonna take a while next up is the summer hub is here that is also why i'm in the hub uh basically it's just a pirate isles hub <laughs> 
that's basically it. Uh, nothing else. Um, next up is fixed bug. This is amazing, by the way. This one coming up. Fixed bug where Draculite could get into a bad state where attacks didn't work after throwing a burnt offering right as his slash her ultimate ended. This was the most annoying bug, even way more annoying than the boomeranger bug. Because the boomerang, you know, even though you can't catch it, you're still able to do stuff. When this bug happens, the Draculite bug, you have to respawn. You have to die or else or change portals or something. You have to refresh your character because you would you're not able to do anything. So what was happening, just in case you guys maybe experienced this bug, but you don't know that this is actually fixing it, in case this has happened to you, it's when when you're trying to throw a bomb as your ultimate ends and then you can't throw it you're you're spamming you know one and you just keep going you just keep throwing bombs and nothing's happening and then you try to use your left click and then it's like i'll show you let me get on the dracolite i don't know if i have a staff on him maybe it's my chloro let me get a staff real quick where is my staff it's probably on the ice age because he was last week's thing yes all right so let's go on the dracolite put on his staff so this is what was happening if you try left clicking and you're holding that left click this is what would happen you see that? You, I don't know why there's no sound. Oh, there you go. So it'd be like this. I'm just, I'm clicking basically. <laughs> uh, so hopefully that showed you. Uh, you couldn't do anything. You can attack because your left click would do that. Your bombs would just go like, like that, but pretend that they're not actually going out on the floor. They're just like spamming, but nothing was happening. Um, so obviously that needed to be fixed, so that's good. And the fixed bug where Lunar Lancer could get into a bad state where attacks didn't work after throwing a bomb right as his slash her ultimate ended. Now I never used bombs when I was farming on Lunar Lancer, I just used a tank turtle, so I never ran into that one. But if it's the same thing as Draculite, I'm glad they fixed it because the Draculite bug was super broken. And you literally had to die to uh, get your ultimate or to even do anything back. Um, next up, and finally, is community created content. Now, I just woke up, so I'm not going to read off all your guys' names. I'm sorry about that. I know a few of you like when I read off your names, but people can see them on the screen. Uh, so, new hat styles, new hairstyles, new mask styles, new spear styles. They forgot the bow styles uh, and the melee styles, which they showed off last week, as you saw in my news video. Um... So maybe those are taking a little longer, which is weird because they were in the devs version of the game because they showed them all off. But <laughs> anyways, and then new Treasure Isles dungeon from Scream Heart and the new Haunted, Haunted Mansion large dungeon in the Undead Biome has been updated. And it looks really cool. It looks like the Infinia. Like, I think Scream Heart did it, honestly, because it looks like an Infinium dungeon. <laughs> um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, they also added a few dungeons, which for some reason they didn't mention. One looks like kind of like Nax Ramis, and it's in the Undead Biome. And when you go to the top... Uh, of, it's a three-star dungeon, remember, so you have to go through this entire dungeon, and then once you get to the end, there's no yellow portal to get out, so you have to run all the way back through. So hopefully, they fix that dungeon, I've only ran into it once, it's pretty rare to find it, um, and it has no yellow portal, so... Devs, can you make it so people don't have to completely run backwards out of a dungeon after they complete it? Please? Um, and yeah, that's pretty much for this patch notes, not much, but remember, they're working on a lot of big things coming to the future, um, so yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, and I'll see you guys next time.